Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you do smash that subscribe button. And, ta -da, I'm so happy to have my, um, my uh, changing table back. Um, I've been using it for a paint station for my Reborns because I can't paint in the same area that I do silicone. So I use my desk for silicone and I was using this table for um, my my Reborns, but I ordered, you know, being locked down, I ordered me a very nice inexpensive um, table, um, which is actually more, gave me more space and I'm really loving it. So I'll be able to put more babies up there. I gotta get me some more racks. Um, but I am really, really enjoying it. I am gonna eventually, I know I've been telling you guys this for a while, but I do plan to um, show you guys my nursery. I'm gonna be working on that this week, um, reorganizing, and that's my problem. I'm always getting it all cleaned up and then take, tearing it down, changing stuff around. I'm just trying to get what works best for me. Um, at first, it was like I was just doing reborn, so I had it working best for me at that time. Now I'm doing reborns and silicone, and so I had to change it around again, and then, anyway, so the whole thing has changed, but this is Dwayne Asleep by Claire Teller. He's also, um, I keep forgetting to check his thing and see if he says prototype or not, but he was actually painted by Claire Teller herself. And um, I have the Awake, for you You guys know, uh, which is Hunter. Um, I haven't decided on a name on him, if I was just going to leave him as Dwayne, or if I was going to give him a different name. But he was a girl, he was Hannah, and I changed him to a boy because I could not really bond as much with this sculpt as a girl. And when I say bond, for those that may not be really into dolls, it means that you can't connect, you're not enjoying them, you don't, like I didn't have the desire to dress this kit as a girl as much as I do now as it being a boy. So I'm gonna grab a diaper because I should have did that a long time ago, but I'm gonna grab a diaper and I'm gonna change him. And I don't think he can fit this, this sleeper, so I brought him a thing just in case, but, um, Years ago, um, when the Dwayne vinyl kits came out, I was um, I had the opportunity to actually do a kit review. I did a kit review on both the Dwayne Awake and the Dwayne Asleep, as well as the Gabigail Awake and the Gabigail Asleep. Um, I had approached several sculptors at the time and um, back then everybody was more about prototype, prototype, prototype because they, they did not, um, I guess they thought that you had to do eBay and all that stuff. So a lot of people didn't really act on it, but I was able to do them. Um, and so when I painted mine, I had bought this outfit for him and I kept it. So, and I put it on my babies from time to time. But I'm going to change this diaper out. And I'm going to put, like, well, this is a good thing about the cloth. You can, you can get them completely undressed because it doesn't really matter. Because guess what? There's nothing you can see. So, um, these, um, this sculpt is about 20, um, 20 or 21 inches long. It's, it's 20 inches at least. Um, so they're a really good newborn size. I mean, you can even put them on some zero to three. Um, so they're really good size. They're not tiny newborn babies. And, um, He is weighted really nice. I love the way that um, that Claire weighted weighted him. It just to me, I just see more boy. Now this pacifier is not really the magnet is a little off from, so I have to play with it sometimes because this is one that I had here, 
and just so happened Claire was trying to be like me and her magnets are set like my baby's magnets. Let me stop saying that. Okay. Um, but yeah, when she, when, it, when, you know, sometimes when you get babies, you'd be like, please, please, please let it, the magnet fit the other magnets in the house. And I was lucky and, and it does, it fit my main magnet. Cause I use this one magnet to monetize, monetize, <laughs> magnetize all the rest of my girl. I got money on the brain. All my, um, <laughs> All my baby's magnets um and as you guys no may notice i rotate my baby clothes out a lot because i don't shop as much like when i first got into the hobby i shopped a lot a lot more than i do now because you know it was exciting and i was building up but i have so many clothes in here now even though some of them are old and vintage and i realized that they look different on every baby depending on the sculpt, depending on the size, the shape, how they fill it out. Like this one, is, I'm stretching this outfit a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so it, it, so it's almost like you're putting on a new outfit. So I don't, I don't lose my mind about it no more. But after a while, when the babies are worn enough, I wash them up and send them off to real babies. Cause you know, after a while you, you know, all right, everybody don't worry. I got my money's worth. Now let a real baby get advantage, take advantage of this. Um, some stuff, even if it's just been worn once, I'll, I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll just send it, pass it on to a new baby. So, so as you can see, him little self. Is fitting that pretty nice. Kind of snug, but that's okay. Snug in a rug. Snug as a bug. That's the weight. So. Every morning, like four day in the morning, I swear it's like my, my windows are so thin. There's this, somebody driving this big, rusty dusty truck come through here you think i live in new york in the city when you can hear that so closely i really i gotta there you go i just think he looks adorable like that so i just wanted to come on and show you guys him and get him dressed in that that is what he will be wearing i think he's super adorable um i love that you know we're starting to see a lot more of this kit i think this kit got kind of swept under the rug a little bit with um the hype of the actual silicone and stuff like that and i feel like um i don't know i just feel like it it wasn't um shown the full potential wasn't really shown in the sculpt initially but um i think there has been some really beautiful ones um that I've seen in um, both Caucasian and ethnic and I'm really enjoying it. It's so fun. It's, it is fun when you have people, you know, you all have similar babies and everybody have their different styles. You know, you got babies, you know, in other countries and so their, their dressing style is different and then you got the babies, you know, just different mommies, different attitudes, just different personalities. It's just, it's just a nice thing. So anyway, guys, um, that is it. I am, like I said, I'm so excited to have my changing table back. I will be um, changing out a lot of the babies because now I have my space and it doesn't kill my back and trying to, you know, bend over and be in a position on the, in the cribs. I don't like that. So, um, there we go. So anyway, um, and guys, if you can think of a name for him, um, give me a suggestion in the comment section. Um, keep in mind his brother name is Hunter. It doesn't necessarily have to be a H now that I think about it. Um, in fact, it, it almost won't probably be an H. I'm trying to think of what he looks like. He's, he's such a, he has a, such a sweet look. So anyway, let me know what you think. See you guys later. Bye-bye.